Indianapolis is the racing capital of the world and in that capital part of the population is racing drivers. They have personalised overalls, they have personalised helmets. Jamie Farrell of Jam Air paints a lot of those helmets and I'm with Jamie now. Jamie, tell us something about the, the helmets and designs you've done. Uh, in this business I've come to find out that uh, drivers have personal styles. Um, that's their identity as a driver. So that's how you know who that is out on the track. And they can get that in many ways through their grandfathers, their fathers, passed on generation to generation, or it's something that they've come up with on their own. But usually it's something that they've morphed over the years and it's, it's something they've stuck with throughout their career as a race driver. And I try to take that on as to give them what they've always had and what they've always wanted and tweak it a little bit to my style. Well, we've got a bit of a test for Jamie because we've had this personalized helmet design done in New Zealand. It is very generic New Zealand. We're going to give it to Jamie and see if he can achieve this helmet design and paint this helmet in one week. Jamie, there it is. Does that present any problem to you? Not at all. When something like this comes with this much detail in it and this much thought put into it already, and I don't have to go through that process already, it's a pretty quick turnaround for the customer. Well, this is the helmet. Um, as you can see, it's in raw form. What's the first thing you're going to do? Well, Bob, what we're going to do next is we're going to take this helmet and we're going to break it all down, take all the rubbers off and all the hardware off, the wings off, and we're going to mask off all the, uh, the interior and everything, and then we're going to prep the helmet and sand it all down and get it ready for a paint application. Jamie, you've got one week to do that. I guess you better start now, mate. Oh, the pressure's on. Thank you. I'm back with Jamie Farrell of Jam Air to check on our helmet painting process. Jamie, what's happened so far? Uh, right now we've got it all tore down and this is the next process. These are all in staging, ready to be prepped and sanded. And what we do is we just put it here on the sanding stage and like so, normal scotch bright. And we start the scuffing process and all this does is uh, give it something to bite to so the paint uh, doesn't fly off at 210 miles an hour. This all looks too messy and way too much hard work for me so we'll come back and check on Jamie later. We're back with Jamie Farrell of Jam Air just two days after we left the helmet with him to be painted. Jamie, what have you done? I can recognize the helmet, but I can't see our original one underneath there. Well, while you guys were off and away, I was uh, busy at work, and what you can't see here is I've already got the silver out of your design already done on the helmet. I've already sprayed the black color on the helmet, and now what I've done is I've covered up with masking tape all the areas so I can spray the charcoal, and I've laid out the artistic lines that you have in your, in your design, as you can see. So now the next process is to go ahead and get the uh, charcoal on and get that process underway. So the whole helmet is currently this color and there you have to mask it, it up. It is currently black right now with the silver uh, design that you have under here and now I'm covering up everything I don't want to spray and now I'm going to spray the charcoal. So all the work is in the masking? Right? All the work is in the masking, yes, definitely. Okay, let's get to it. Okay. So Jamie, tell me, what are you doing now? I'm pouring in the lacquer-based charcoal paint that I have tinted especially for your guys' artwork on, on the design. Safety first. Call me on in. So this is the painting booth, I guess. Yeah, Straight in there. more of those coats and we'll be ready to rock and take it over to our bake booth and uh, after that we're gonna do some airbrushing on it. We're back with Jamie Farrell of Jam Air just to see nervously the progress on our helmet painting. Jamie where are we at? Well we uh, we just finished baking the helmet and now uh, what we're gonna do Bob is we're gonna take it over here and we're gonna start unmasking all the bits and pieces. How hot has that been when it's been baking in the uh, this gets up to about 140 degrees uh, Fahrenheit and it bakes for about 20 to 30 minutes for all base coats. Jamie, the long job of removing the masking tape is now finished. What's the next part of the process? Well, Bob, the next part of the stage, the process is uh, going over here to the uh, airbrush station. 
And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to airbrush all the highlights and lowlights on all this uh, graphics here. And this. So this is where the artistry comes in rather than simple painting, if I can put it like that. Exactly. This is the make or break it part of it, and this is why I get paid the big bucks. <laughs> And all I'm going to do here is uh, take my airbrush gun here with a little bit of water-based paint in it and I'm going to simply just start adding some low lights and shadows to what we have here. Can I help anyway, Jamie? Well, Bob, this is the steady-handed detail part of the work and I'm going to need you guys to get lost now because the next time you see it is the unveiling. I guess the next time we do see it is at the Speedway. Jamie Farrell, it's race day, Indy 500, time to reveal our specially painted and designed helmet. But before we see that, what have you actually done since our last visit? Uh, Bob, last time you guys were there, we did some, uh, we were just doing airbrush work, and what I did was the detailed highlights, low lights of all the airbrushing, and then what we do is we put the logos on and we do the clear coat process, which makes it nice and shiny and pretty for you guys. Well, I guess the best thing to do now is to actually have a look at it, and we've got our tame wannabe racing driver, Roberto Racatini, to model it. Roberto, please. Fantastic job, Jamie. Absolutely superb. You're a really a craftsman at your skill. My pleasure, Bob. Thank you for working with me. Well, Bob.